Yo, how's it going YouTube? This is Vinny and I am back with another video and today we are going to be asking ourselves a very simple question. What is 10 million? And I know a lot of answers probably popped into your head and you know, like 10 million in cash, you'd be like Gucci Mane and hit the strip club and make it rain on them motherfuckers, but that's not the case. Uh, sorry. Sorry to burst your bubble. It's actually just a video game and it's a very good video game, so you know, it's not a bad thing. That it's a video game and not 10 million in cash, even though it is at the same time because I'd rather have 10 million in cash. But this is a very cool game, and before I get into it, I don't want to waste any more time. I just want to say it very quickly. If you guys enjoy this game as much as I do, if I see this video gets 20 likes, I will continue to play this game as an ongoing series, and I will continue doing runs of this game. As long as people are interested. Anyways, says to click to begin. We won't need our keyboard because the only control in this game is the left click on your mouse. So let's left click and click to begin. Alright, let's go. So this is the game. And the sound is probably very loud, so bear with me. I am going to go right into the settings. And, uh, oh. Okay, it saved my settings from before. Perfetto. Anyways, this is the options very simple um, I think this is one of the things that kind of bother me a little bit even though it is an 8-bit game and 8-bit games don't really need a huge bulky options menu um, I would have liked it if there was at least some kind of graphic option you know all you got is full screen and vsync if there was maybe like 1280 by 720 or being able to make the window bigger if you're running it in window mode because that is how I'm running it that would have been better but the way it runs now the window is one size and one size only so that's like the only downfall of the game anyways as you can see it's a very 8-bit feeling game and I love 8-bit games if you followed me onto this channel from my past channel you know I am a huge NES Super Nintendo Nintendo Entertainment System Freaking all of that old school stuff, I collect for it all. Even Atari a little bit. And Famicom, even though I don't understand Japanese. But yes, I love 8-bit games. I love this game. The music is it's very repetitive, but it's it's a good track. Anyways, let's hop into this game. This is our headquarters. The whole point of this game is we are stuck in a cave and we don't know where we are apparently. Even though we had time to set up a bed and ladders and, you know, set up in an area with rooms and a big door to go into a dungeon. So, yeah. He's probably lying to himself. But the whole point is to get a top score of 10 million in one run. As soon as you hit 10 million, you're free. They let you go. What, whoever it is that is keeping you here. Anyways. The whole point of the game is to go into the dungeon. And this is a dungeon crawler game that has a puzzle uh, aspect to it as well. Um, pretty much everything relies on your puzzle skills. So, if yeah, it's very fun. Um, now the whole way that these rooms work, they are damaged. And you have to either, le you have to level up and you have to get repair costs, resources. So to repair rooms, you need wood and stone. Right now I have zero of everything because I just started fresh. So what we gotta do, we gotta go down to these big doors at the bottom right. We gotta click them and we gotta get into the dungeon. And um, there aren't levels for the character, there are ranks in this game. And you keep on ranking up as you keep on playing and escalating. And you know, gaining more and more experience. And, you know, uh, doing more and more of the objectives and whatnot. And the objectives are listed underneath your rank. On the right side, you have the score multiplier, the resource collection, and then the enemies that you're going to face. And it will continuously change as you level up. You'll see that after this round of the dungeon. So here we go. Click run the dungeon and we go on in. And as I said, this is a puzzler game. In order to attack, you have to match either the blue sword blocks or the red wand blocks. And yes, that is a red wand. It does look kind of like a torch, but it's not. It's, it's, it really isn't. It's not. I promise. Uh, told me to match red, but there are no red blocks to be matched. And there are no blue my... Oh, fuck you. Uh, let's just break some blocks. Okay. I hit him. That was a waste. 
Okay, we there's also key blocks, and um, the key blocks unlock chests. And that was probably a huge waste, but I needed to do it, because that's the only way you're going to progress. More keys. Oh, I actually got that from the last chest. So we can use um, items by clicking on them here. Um, and sometimes when you open chests or when you defeat enemies, items will drag across your screen and go into these four blocks in the top left. And then you can actually left click them to use that item. It's really cool. So we got another enemy here. And we also got to keep track of um, our screen up top because the closer and closer you get to the edge, um, the faster your run of this dungeon will end. So, yeah. That happens. Quite often. What the fuck, man? Give me something to attack with! This. Alright. You're dead. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, and the shields block. Yeah. These give you experience, I think. Do they? No. I don't know what they do then. I don't know. Okay, let's attack this dude. See, we're running out of space. As soon as we actually, like, go off of the screen, that's uh, pretty much the end of our turn on this dungeon. And then we're gonna have to go back to our main and, you know, go. Got it. Thank you very much. Oh, and these blocks, these rocks and these wood uh, blocks also, you have to match up to gain resources to build shit up. And, uh, pausing like that was probably a bad idea. But because it is the tutorial level, it's probably giving me some slack, because by now, the round would have been over. Yeah. I'm still very new to this game. So I'm not the greatest. Uh, shit. Let's get some rocks. And then... Let's get some wood. And then let's attack this dude. Bow. Bow, bow. Well, we're getting a lot of items. What is this? Bam. I don't know what that did. But it did something good. We've ranked up. We are now Wayfarer. Whatever that means. And we got resources. So now we can actually go back to this room and repair it. And I'm going to show you the, how the rooms work. And just click repair. And a room comes up. This is the trainer room. This is the first room that you'll always unlock. And these give you like bonuses on your character when you're playing. It gives you either more experience, it gives you more time, it gives you a uh, multiplier of resources like more gold, more wood, more stone, whatever. Um, we're actually going to go with plus 10% experience when killing monsters. And we're going to train that first because getting five in a row for me is pretty difficult. So I'm going to save that until after. And um, you actually gain these purple by just going into the dungeon and playing. That's pretty much it. The longer you last, the more things you kill, the more treasure you find, the more experience you get. That's pretty much it. That is the game. You just continue to level up. Go into the dungeon last longer and longer the more you level up the more your score multiplier goes up the more your resource collection multiplier goes up and the more enemies are introduced into the game they become more powerful so you need to you need to unlock these rooms um the next room that we would be able to unlock is this room right over here and it's actually a uh, weapons upgrade room which is very important and that one uses gold so yeah each of these I think each of these uses a different resource this one here as you saw uses experience points the next room here that I'm standing in front of would use gold and then uh, you know so I think some of them use wood and uh, and rocks or just experience and gold I'm not too sure because I haven't really escalated that far but that is it rate comment subscribe don't forget to like this video if you want to see me keep on playing and uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate all the support. I've recently hit 92 subscribers. I'm 8 subscribers away at getting to my 100 milestone. So help a homie out. Alright, thank you. Peace.